Nigeria's first female pilot team was Hadiza Lantana Obo. She worked with Nigeria Airways and one day in February of 1998, she just got back home from the flight and as usual, her guard opened the gate and she drove in. She went into her bedroom to get comf change into comfortable clothes and then she came back to her kitchen to cook. And while she was cooking in the kitchen, she did not know that her guard had gone and opened the gate for three other accomplices to come in and when all four of them were in the compound, the guard Abdullahi came up behind her with a rope, pounced on her and started to strangle her. And she begged for her life, but he had no mercy. And unfortunately he killed her. The reason that he killed her was because they had seen how rich she was. She was a single woman and she lived quite a luxurious lifestyle. She was very introverted, she hardly had visitors, she just focused on work and her comfort honestly. And so they had noticed all the expensive jewelry in her house, they had noticed that her car was expensive. Sometimes she came home with the dollars and kept in her room and so this is why they killed her. Now, after these four men had killed her, they opened her septic tank where all the waste in the house goes to and they put her in there her body in there and then they cemented it short they sealed it short now you would think that after stealing her things they would run away but they stayed they started to pack all the things out they were selling all her jewelry they were stealing all the money all the furniture and anytime a visitor comes to see her they had the same they had the same excuse madam don't travel madam has traveled and this wasn't far-fetched because she was a very busy pilot and like I said, she was quite introverted, so she had nobody too close like that. And this was in the days when mobile phones were not, everybody did not have a mobile phone, so it was easily believable. Now, when they had sold all of her things, they still did not run away. They stayed in that house. They actually moved into her mansion. But one of her neighbors, who was a, um, a top police officer, noticed some strange movements. He had been noticing, he hadn't seen her in a while. And he noticed that this this um, boys had been taking things out of her about out of her house, not apartment, out of her house, looking like and these things were not coming back. It's not like they were going out for repairs. So it was obvious that they were taking them out to sell them. And so he alerted the police and they came and arrested the boys involved. Um, I think one of them is Abdullahi and then there was Paul, I think. Um, during the investigation her body was found in the septic tank and they had all the, all the suspects in custody now for whatever reason these suspects were granted bail their guarantors they had guarantors who came over and signed and they were granted bail while the investigation went on they found out that all her things had been sold and they had, they had, it was premeditated murder all of that so they tried to get them back for the case to start unfortunately all four had given fake names and fake addresses all their guarantors had also given fake names and fake addresses and so they were never able, never able to get them back and unbelievably that's the end of the case her murder was never solved